Do you live in coal country? If you do, chances are you can find some common fossils in your area. Leftovers from the ancient Carboniferous time, which formed the coal in your area. I live in the Appalachian area myself, and I'd like to talk to you about a couple of common fossils you can look out for. The Appalachian Mountains were once a landscape of lowland, swampy, carboniferous forests dominated by plants called lycopods. These lycopods grew into immense stands of growth, and as they died off, they were covered by water and sediments in a time when microorganisms didn't decompose organic material as quickly as it does today. This organic material, over time and pressure, became coal. So the coal that we find today is the remnant of these ancient forests, this organic material that got buried and uh, was uh, decomposing very slowly. So the organic compounds were preserved as coal. And as we know, coal is a very efficient source of energy as a remnant of that. In the same way kind of that charcoal was an efficient and uh, slow burning but efficient source of heat that we can use to cook things with. So as these natural processes were occurring, some of those plants actually did become fossils. And if you're in an area uh, where you find abundant coal, uh, as I was, I was in Anderson County, Tennessee, and ran across two fossils from that time just waiting in a creek, and there they were. So I'm gonna show you my specimens and uh, a little bit about where they came from. The first fossil I'm going to show you is called a stagmaria. What it is, is the preserved uh, root of the lycopod plant. The lycopod had a very shallow root system due to the swampy nature of the environment that it grew in. And it had uh, branches of roots that would uh, break off from the central trunk. And each root segment would have tiny little rootlets that uh, project from the main root and on the fossil segments, those are preserved as little bumps on the stigmaria. And this is my stigmaria fossil. When I saw it in the creek bed, the first thing that caught my eye was the texture. I could tell this texture was not a normal rock. The creek bed was full of rocks, but this stood out to me. Uh, it almost looks like skin of some creature but it is actually plant, it's plant life, uh, the stigmaria being a portion of that root structure that grew out from those ancient trees. They had an immense complex network of underground rooting systems uh, that would grow out and the bumps on it were tiny little rootlets that extended out from this piece of, of root. Um, when the plant died, a hollow was formed underground where this was. It, uh, the actual root probably decomposed very slowly. And over time, minerals replaced that organic material. I can still see some dark color, and I wonder if that might be carbon in here, a little bit of carbon from the actual living plant. But the majority of this fossil is, uh, is mineral that replaced the organics that, that were left behind. It's a mineral, uh, like a cast of what was there. And of course, over time, this may have came from a coal mine. Uh, there, were coal mi there were coal mines in the area that, that I found this, um, but over time it, it just, it got broken and uh, ended up on the surface and ended up washing down a creek. There's a little hollow here even in the middle. Not sure what that is. Um, zoom in a little closer. But this is my stigmaria. These are very common, and uh, there are better examples of these than than what I found too. Much more detailed, where you can actually see these little rootlet structures uh, much more intricately. The other fossil I found in the same creek is another remnant of the Carboniferous forests. 
And this is not a stigmaria. This is actually a section of trunk, a trunk that was above ground of a fern-like tree. Now, I am not sure that this was a lycopod. There were a few different types of lycopods, and if anyone knows specifically what this is, please let me know in the comments. But this is a, a trunk structure, and you can see the scaly, the scaly bark. Uh, the, the preservation of that is, is very distinct. It has a little bend to it, so as it, when it fell, um, it, the tree trunk had a bend in it as it laid there for who knows how long before this, this fossil formed. And it's a similar type of fossil from the stigmaria in that there was an impression and that impression um, was filled by minerals, which hardened into into rock. But uh, it's just amazing to find something like this. When you do, uh, it might not seem that impressive on camera, but you think, wow, you know, here's a real remnant of life uh, from bygone times. Uh, if you found any fossils in North Carolina, Virginia, East Tennessee, West Virginia, uh, let me know about it in the comments. I'd love to hear your stories about uh, any kind of fossil. Um, my fossils examples are plants, but it is also common to find marine life fossils in our area, uh, trilobites and um, other shelled type, uh, not snails, but creatures that had shells. Uh, those are found very often in this area as well. I haven't had the fortune of running across one yet, uh, but hope you enjoyed my video. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm Atlas Shrug 383. Thank you.